I'm, I just now saw the fucking Steve Harvey thing. Yeah. <laughs> Show me a family. <laughs> oh. 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 the side oh. you can steal. Yeah, what about the side? And the Phillips family can steal. Guys, what if, how good would we be if we were on Family Feud? Uh, we would be the best. We would need two other people. <laughs> we'd bring Joan, and then we'd bring a real life goose. Honk. <laughs> So how how did how did you meet these people? <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I read, you're a goose. All right, FAP family, uh, who are you pulling up to the board? The goose you... walks. <laughs> <laughs> guys welcome to the funky anime podcast hey. i'm garbalax welcome to my cave uh lit up by fireflies next to me is chuck oh hi hi i'm a firefly no you're not a firefly you're just lit up by them no i'm pretending oh okay uh, well now he's my a family. firefly well I'm, I'm a human but i'm pretending i'm a firefly oh okay you're you're glowing cuz i'm a child you're glowing darling <laughs> wow as soon Thank as you, you said child your voice dropped like 50 milligrams <laughs> like that's word, interesting word changes <laughs> next or next to me is pino who's definitely not considering cannibalism from starvation uh why did i have to be the cannibal <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat me, I'm just a child. It's okay. You look disgusting anyways. There's not enough meat on I don't meat have on. a lot of meat on my bones. That's exactly what I was going to say. Eat Garb. No, he's, he's been hoarding away all the watermelon. He's been... No, he looks about the same. I know it. Like, no, yeah, exactly. How about I just self-cannibalize? Stripe, no, striped shirts are very are very slimming. I don't know. My left leg looks pretty pretty hefty right now. Well, that's because you never skip a leg day. It's true. <laughs> Except yesterday, so... That was oh, it. man, you're going down the drain, aren't you? <laughs> I know, he I'm... usually doesn't skip leg day, except yesterday when he ate his leg. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, technically, that he didn't skip leg day. He just did a different leg no, day. No, the animation studio decided that was a little too gruesome and said that I oh. lost my leg in the water. Oh, no. Well, how'd you lose it? Uh, it was a uh, uh, ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Nice. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Way to bring it all together, Pino. Yeah, no problem. Shout outs to feet. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, Awful. welcome to the Funky Anime Podcast. That's your gang. That's the people. We, that's the, we're the homeboys. We watch, that's the homeboys, chilling like villains. We're vibing. We watched, we're straight vibing right now. <laughs> we really... It's no, I, the, I'm not... When we start talking about it, I will not oh, be straight, I'm straight vibing. vibing. I can dude. tell you that I'm much. I'm straight vibing, my brothers. And let me tell you why. <laughs> we watched the Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, I don't I know Ghibli. how the hell you pronounce it. Who cares? Uh, we watched Grave of the Fireflies was the film. Oof. And... Boy, was it sad. Boy, Boy, did it hurt to watch. Boy, was it something. It's It's yeah. been a while since we've watched a sad show. It's been a while since um, we watched a Ghibli. Yeah, it's been we a We only year. usually do that at the end of the season. <gasps> wow, guys, we did it. We made it. Woo-hoo. This is year we two. We made it a whole nother season. Oh, I guess it is season two. Are you proud of me, Mom? <laughs> yes, I'm proud of you, son. Whoa, oh, mother. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> mother. <laughs> mother. Whoa, Mama. Whoa, Mama. Well, then. 
Man, I really don't remember how to do somber episodes. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Well, we'll, not get, we'll get sad later. We'll get sad later, don't you worry. Let's get yeah. sad. Let's get so sad. We, we just are going to end sad, off sad. our seasons on Ghibli films because Why that's, not? that's the, yeah, that's the bread whatever. and not bread and butter anime, but... Mm, I love butter. I, I guess Ghibli films are one of the easiest ways to get into anime. Basically, so, what we're saying is that we're really, going to have to run this show for 26 seasons until we get through all the Ghibli films, and then we end. Uh, yeah, we yeah. won't have any reason to continue. Yeah, I can't believe that'll be the last episode. I can't podcast. believe this is actually the not last episode. I can't episode. believe this is the last episode of the season. But not really, because then we have the other things at <laughs> the post. No, that's filler. That doesn't yeah. count. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, we'll be doing filler after this. Look forward to that if you like filler. Yeah, if you like filler, like I do. Yeah, dude. Best episode of Dragon Ball Z is Goku and Piccolo learn to drive, and you can't tell me otherwise. So yeah, obviously, I'll tell best... you otherwise. Well, Remember wrong, that time when, the, when, when, when Gohan played baseball? Oh, yeah. But that was super. No. No? No? Oh, that yeah, you're right, Boo Saga. Sorry. You absolute monkey. I was thinking of the one scene in, in Super where, you know, they well, brought the, back Well, when they all Yamcha. play baseball. Yeah. That one's also very good. Yeah. But, yeah, you're right. I've, I've, I've spread false information. I can't believe this. Geekdom 101 is going to come knocking on the False door. propaganda. Guys, I can't believe guys, you're the general of this are, campaign. We are literally the only factual podcast on the planet yeah. quote me it's on what it. the f stands for yeah factual anime podcast what do you think no it it's does? an actual accurate podcast come on get it right. oh yes of course and we just usually talk about anime <laughs> yeah. just totally by coincidence just yeah. by coincidence, coincidence every time we talked about an anime one day we won't i mean we did Can once tell- we d- no charlie brown is charlie oh, yeah that's right we fucking watched charlie brown <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true yeah, yeah. And it's like one of our least listened to episodes. No. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. You don't Merry get another Christmas, one. Merry Christmas, everyone. You don't get another one because you squandered it. We'll just watch you the... Lose. Um, we'll just, you get nothing. We'll watch the snow halation part of Love Live again. Yeah, we'll just, just watch the snow halation video and then we'll talk about it for five minutes and then post it. Yeah, yeah. call that a day. This is one of those episodes where we're getting sidetracked really easily because we don't know what to talk about in the show. because well, there's nothing we'll be real to talk about. F- Freaking sad, dude. So, how was your guys' day? Well, thank you for asking. Uh, that's all right. Chuck, yeah? you want to go next? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I haven't been doing too much. Yeah. This is this is right after Thanksgiving. So yeah. just, I, I did, I did go good one? see... Let's just say I'm a little stuffed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 you were saying this episode's Chuck. going nowhere slowly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like this movie. Just like the movie. Uh, <laughs> wow, you guys are fucking harsh. Good. We'll, no, we'll get into it, that later. It's it, it's not that it did go too long. It's just oh my god, that was. We'll get hurting. there. I don't know, man. We'll, I guess it was just the mood I was in, but that the the slow pacing was just perfect. Mood. No, it was good. It was very good. Well, we'll it get hurt. Into that. Tell me how your Pino. day was before I had the roast. I know. I can't boys. believe you have bad opinions. I can't believe you guys like terrible movies. <laughs> ah! And now with our hot takes out there and everybody interested, let's get straight into the review. <laughs> so, had either of you ever seen this before? Because I sure as hell had. Nope. No, I knew about it, and I was yeah. like, I know, it's sad. I've heard yeah. from you that it was sad, and I heard that it's not one of the ones people mention. And yeah, I was whenever like, we yeah. brought it up, whenever we brought it up to the patrons, that was um, they're like, "Oh my god!" By the way, shout out to our Patreon. Love you guys. Uh, shout out to thank y'all. you. They, I'd like to thank the Cosmos, <clears throat> and I'd like to thank uh, John for being our top money patrons. Big big million. Our big Love million y'all. patrons. I appreciate you. But the music's singing <laughs> this is out. a great episode. <laughs> Love y'all. Anyway, this is anyway. a Ghibli film. Ghibli film. Um, so I, none of us had seen it. That's good. But uh, yeah, oh, whenever man. we caught wind of it, we all knew it was sad. When we sniffed so it. So we had a little bit of expectations going in. What'd you say, Pino? When we sniff it, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> a whiff. Yeah. 
Got to smell all the you... dead bodies. Oh, delightful. <laughs> Delightfully delightful, Pino. I, I love War. the smell of fire in the air. War never changes. War has changed. <laughs> uh, so, We're gamers. y'all want to get into that presentation? This will be an easy section. Oh, what do you mean, an easy section? Because oh, yeah, it looked, looked good because it it's a Ghibli film. It, all right. it did look good, but you could Nothing definitely tell that it out. was not a Miyazaki film. Yeah. Ah, uh, was it not? Could, no. Mm. It's by the funny man that you that you send the image of him to us. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Isao uh, Takahata. Uh, let's see what else he's done, if I can find it. Oh, uh, a bunch of things in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I can read. <laughs> I assume he, they're all Ghibli films, or at least... No, he a, did Ghibli, and he did stuff before. Like, I know that he, uh... He did things during his Ghibli time, but for the most part, he is known by doing, uh, Ghibli. Yeah. Well, Ghibli's the, the big hitter, so it, it makes sense. That's what people would know him for. But, yeah, so it... I mean... Yeah, I guess so. But it still looked great. Oh no, it looks very good. good, but you can you can very clearly tell that this is not this like Miyazaki's like There's no style. playful colors. There's no Well, yeah. And and, and it makes sense because again, it's I guess this is movie. one of Yeah, it's a it's a wartime movie. Um, yeah. Like, you know, you're not going to expect your fantasy animals, your you can't Japan, be like Japanese fucking Crash Bandicoot, right? You can't have your Japanese mysticism as they usually do in many Japanese uh, animated films, but you do get that kind of gritty, timey, you know, timepiece that this movie is, which is uh, takes place World War Two, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, you know, it's understandable. I don't think many things popped out to me, but what I saw was all right. Again, nothing, nothing, at least for me, nothing great, but nothing, it's like not bad. It's not I, bad. Um, I wrote down that I really do like the backgrounds. I know, what a background guy. Yeah, um, how funny. <laughs> I, do, I do like um, the backgrounds in it because, you know, it's a very difficult time period, especially to do a still. Illustrate, sorry, my brain doesn't work. <clears throat> to illustrate, especially for, you know, people of Japanese descent going, like, of being children through all that. Because I think, I remember hearing that, um, let me see, because I don't know if he's so Takahata, I th- how old is he? Oh, yeah, he may have been around for... Because I know he was, I'm pretty sure, cause, yeah, he was 35, so he was a child, when all of this actually was happening, oh, I remember, yeah. I remember hearing uh, about taking this, uh, like using personal experience for this, mm-hmm. and he did uh, pass away in two thousand and eighteen. Just dang, rest in peace, brother. Apparently, yeah, which is a shame, but yeah, oh, yeah, that's recently too. Oh, man, that sucks, but. Yeah, but I mean, he was he also he was also eighty two, so he lived. Yeah, a, but he lived a pretty good life. He he lived yeah. a long life. Yeah, he got to direct a fucking Ghibli film. That's he directed cool. many. He was yeah. one of the co-founders. So yeah, dude, he was a cool dude. He's a certified cool dude, and that's not a reward that you can give to just anybody. It's true. It's very true. <sighs> Pino doesn't care about this episode. No, I don't. I'm just real tired. I don't know if I told you before. (laughs) I don't know if I told you, but I I took a nap earlier today. Yeah, then I took another nap in the car. I took a second nap in the morning. That's like five naps already. (laughs) Your math doesn't quite add up. I can tell you. I counted the the naps from yesterday. I think that was correct. I counted the naps from yesterday. Don't worry. No, but I'm tired. I know. So. On a scale of 1 to 10, how many naps? <laughs> 3.5. Oh, man, that's a pretty good nap. Yeah. Uh, plus some rice pudding, so that was cool. Mm, pudding. Mm, rice pudding. But I hate mm. rice pudding. Uh, mm, I don't want to eat rice pudding. <laughs> You'll eat what you get. You're a fucking fly, you piece of shit. Now make your own food. Okay. Oh, why are they making their own food? 
This is a travesty. <laughs> this is a disaster. So this, this is literally the worst development. <laughs> did any of you guys watch the dub? I watched I the did dub. Not. I watched the sub. I yeah, I watched the sub. How'd you like the dub, Pino? Dub was fine. It's what I expect from Ghibli movies. Um, it sounded kind of just like um, the last one, Castle in the Sky. Yeah. So I mean, isn't Disney the one that? Does yeah, Disney. The, yeah. Disney did the. Um, so it's dubbing. it's your it's it's standard. You have pretty good voice actors. Um, do they fit their characters? Probably. Uh, the child, not so much, maybe, but I got like I, I understood they were trying to go for a child. Um, in the sub, they very clearly used an children. actual child, yeah. and they <laughs> reused a real child. What? <laughs> Those real, aren't real. <laughs> real human child. Well, usually they use like a grown woman who just like pitches her voice mm, up. Right. Um, but you could tell whenever they reused some of the lines from the kid just because it has oh the yeah, exact there's, same there's inflection. a loop. There was there was a looping crying. Mm-hmm. Bit that yeah. I remember, and that was awful. I that just straight took me out of the movie for a minute there, and I was like, mm. "Oh, apparently, oh, apparently, uh, Disney was unable to license Grave of the Fireflies due to the fact that the film was not produced by the parent company Takuma Shoten, but by Shin Chosha. <laughs> Bless you, thank you, the <laughs> publisher of the original novel. So, uh, uh, di- oh. so that's." So the, I don't think they dubbed no. it. I don't, I don't know. My math doesn't work out too good. Man, we really did our research. <laughs> well, that's not my episode. Yeah, dude. That's all on me. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we can... Well, so do you have anything else to say about the dub panel? Uh, no, it was it was fine for what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I know this is the last episode of the season. Okay, I'll you try not to excited. yawn. I'm, I'll try not to yawn. Okay, Yo, thank bro, you. the dub was pretty all right. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah, yeah I like perfectly, m- 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 perfectly average. Yeah, yeah I mean, passable. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like again, like as you're talking to the guy who will, who will always pick a dub over a sub most of the time. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll know, pick mine. It, it does the it does the job. It um, I think they did a good job with. Okay, some of the characters did a good job with uh, some emotions. <laughs> I don't think the main guy did too well. Um, but then again, oh, he no. doesn't show too much emotion throughout the film, mm-hmm. so you know that could just be my taking. But again, it's not you won't detract unless you know. You just hate dubs. Yeah. Yeah, I I watched the sub and I thought it was really good. You know, yeah. actually using children is always a plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because that's kind of rare and that's something that is not an easy task. Yeah. And that's probably why they had to loop that one voice line over yeah, and over again. because they're like, I can't do this. Yeah, there's kind of out of options. Yeah. But soundtrack was great. I don't really have any notable uh there were um actually a lot of instances where they didn't actually use music during scenes and i thought that was really good yeah well like ghibli's known for the quiet time oh absolutely but like especially with how haunting this movie can be at times yeah especially when they first went to the school and uh um saita Seta? I don't, uh, Satan. I'm just going to say Satan. They Seta. said Satan. In the, in the okay, dub. I'll say Satan okay. then. Um, when he first like discovers that his mom was injured and dying, like no music, completely blank, and the music started once Seta was doing the spinning on the bars to try mm. and cheer up uh, Setsuko, mm-hmm. and then it like brought in this kind of like not spooky but ominous to a point music track and i thought that was actually a really good choice and there's a lot of good choices like that with very little or none at all yeah less can um, be more absolutely what was it also spoilers but you know it's a, it's an hour and a half long movie you should be able to watch that this episode's probably longer than that or maybe <laughs> not we don't know um we're recording it now um yeah. but at the end when the phonograph is playing the record from, like, one of the girls who, like, ran back and was like, oh, my goodness, the old phonograph. I finally get to hear it again. (laughs) My poor ears. But um, when that was playing and then they showed um, Setsuko, like, the memories of her in the fort area. I don't know what to call it. 
like the cave, I guess. Fort cave, yeah. quote unquote. And that was spooky. Like that was yeah. like oh oh my god. Yeah, when she was kind of ghosting around. Yeah. When she was spooking. And that I was, was like, the man, part that spooking. like I th- dude, I really started to tear up. That one and then immediately the scene after where he was cremating the body. I was like this hurts. Yeah, dude. That was rough. my soul. Man. This was a rough movie. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> why'd you pick this? <laughs> Did we already talk about the ending? <laughs> yes. This is the end uh, of the podcast. I can't believe it. I'm so sad. <laughs> it was sad. It was and then it's like, and this is also, I would like to mention that he died on the twenty first night of September. Do you remember? I said that to Joan and Joan's like, How dare you? And I'm like, <laughs> I need to bring some for But you need joy. something to remember. I know. I remember that I will always remember that Seta died on the twenty first night of September. Yeah. I mean That's some good. Is it trivia. a spoiler saying they died? No, because that's at the beginning of the film. Also, oh, I already good. gave everyone a spoiler warning so they can suck. Thank it. you. Yeah. Just just double checking. You well, since we're already going into it, and I, I assume you don't have anything else to go on um, in the presentation because there wasn't yeah, no P or E. Well, like yeah, they had credits they winners. had some yeah they had some songs for the credits which I enjoyed especially. But it's oh, it's no ending. No, no ending. But like Just credits. Um, I did like at the intro after they showed Saita dying or Saita. I fucking already forgot his name or how to say it. Seda, but when after he dies, which you're like neat, um, they show his ghost like walking around, and then immediately after they have the opening credits over like normal life, kind of. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm like, man, <clears throat> that's good. And then it's like, oh yeah, time for bombs, and I'm like, uh oh, are we the bad guys in the story? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I will never forgive the Americans. <laughs> Uh, so should we go ahead and just go into the whole story then? Um, I is that all we? I, I, I guess. I guess. Well, uh, starts off. You start off at the very end, like the way after the events of the film, and you see Sega he's, dead. He's with just the, vibing. What's that? He's just vibing. Yeah, he was <laughs> and just vibing. And, and then, then he's he dead with a couple other kids. Do, where, do you know where, like, where they were going? Or is I that, think, that was a train I, station, well, I'm assuming. Well, I think it was a train station, but also because they have no families. I assume they're homeless and, like, mm-hmm. just... Because it's after the war, so, like, there's still ah, yeah. devastation in the area. And they're like, well, people are dying, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Sad, dude. But And he has the fruit tin there, which then you get an explanation um fully oh. at the very end but the fruit tin is is brought yeah. throughout the entire film you see that same tin being reused yeah um and given little snacks to as it, as they do yeah as they do to Setsuko the little girl the sister yeah and so it's wartime their We're mom changes. doesn't make it through a bombing and yep. they have to go live with their aunt, who is a little that bit That part bothered me. <laughs> yeah. How so? Like, I get that, like, hey, mom, go on ahead without us. But, like, would would a real, would, like, you could have just stayed together at that point. Like, well, but you guys I, are the think, last ones. I think more so the point was that. I mean, I, I know it was like a, it was a transition for the plot to advance. Well, yeah. well more so it's, it, I think. Overall, the arcing story is that Seda did not want uh, Setsuko to really be worried and, like, distraught mm. at that point. So I get that's why it was like, yikes. I'm, we're still staying separated and along those lines. I think it was more so for Setsuko's well-being than... No, I mean at the beginning where it's like they're about to... Oh, yeah, I don't know what the... F- he was burying yeah. shit and I'm like... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, I guess. Um, your mom just left. You well, to be fair, if he didn't do that, he would have died. Well, and he I mean, I buried guess. that stuff so <clears throat> that he could go or back. Or she could have stayed it, yeah. to help yeah. pick up the stuff. I don't, or, I don't know. Maybe because her heart's bad or something. Because I remember that, that. Yeah, I forgot mm, her heart. She that had may have been she may have, or something. I don't know. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But other than that, no, I get it. Yeah, that's is you're protecting the, the eyes of a child that has not seen pain or death at that current point. Yeah. I boy, she's about don't think to, that's though. the way to do. Yeah, I don't think that's the way you should have done it, my my boy Setsuko or Setsu Setsu Ketetsu. What's his name? <laughs> Setsu Ketetsu. Seta. Seta. Yeah, yeah I, don't think the went, I don't think he went about it the right way, mm-hmm. but hey, hey, it makes the movie, so. Well, he's yeah, a well, kid himself. So. Yeah, there, yeah, he's also a child of like yeah. 10 or some shit, so I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, it's true. You can't, yeah. you can't but, be you know. making all the decisions. Yeah, yeah. he's 14 it's, years old. He's 14 Gosh, years old. Yeah, but when he's the only one, technically, in the immediate family, it's probably a good idea to tell somebody. And the fact that he didn't tell his aunt. Well, because like pro- I, think, I think because of that. Uh, would be more so that being like, hey, uh, like my mom's living. We just need somewhere to stay for the time being to kind of get your foot in the door. Mm-hmm. And then she's I like, guess. I was told that she's dead. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, she is dead. Well, yes, yeah. but I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah. And he was trying to not bring it up so that. Setsuko didn't hear about it, but then she does anyway, which is exactly what I feared was that the aunt was going to tell Setsuko. And then, I mean, I believe at that point the child at least has the right to know. I mean, you can't just hide it forever at that yeah. point. Yeah. But, I mean, someone had to tell her, preferably her brother, but, but you it know, was not. <laughs> aunt, aunt McGee had to open her mouth aunt and McGee. be like, yeah. yeah, she's in the ground, so now these fireflies are going to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that was some great um, symbolism. By the way, I, yeah, I did, I did really good. like. I enjoyed that symbol. I did like the fireflies. That was because the the very first one that she tries to pick up, she squishes. She crunches it. Yeah, and and my interpretation is that the the light and fragility of the fireflies is how fragile life itself is. Yeah, how people are. Yeah, but they really do. It it's, really. Be like I think more than anything, this um, this. <laughs> this like movie just and made movie. me depressed. <laughs> More really? than, well, it was just like sad, and yeah. I'm just like, Ugh. I don't know. I didn't feel sad at all, mostly because I just didn't like the way everybody handled everything. Like the adults were crap. Well, yeah, the, the adults were was garbage. Not Ch- in, he, the he child, I think, there's I'm, no insight from the child. I think, even though I think from the, the start there was something wrong with the child already. She was always super itchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's something wrong with well, her. Well, that's that's why because she didn't. He didn't apologize to his aunt. I get yeah. that the aunt was in the wrong at that point, but when you have nowhere to go and you have limited funds that will ex- will expend yeah. eventually. Well, I, sometimes I know. you need it's, to swallow your pride and stay mm-hmm. in a place where you can be sure. And of course, they didn't know the war was going to end in a couple weeks. Yeah, but living at least with the aunt in what is not a a nice home per se, but a safe one would have worked, would have sufficed and yeah. probably would have saved their lives. I and definitely, I, I know this is how the story wanted to no, yeah. go, but yeah. I still don't, I don't agree with that. No, I it. totally, <laughs> I totally get it. Like, while, so this, I had no while I still think that this is a, a <clears throat> good and important movie, I, or like, I don't think it's a gr- like a super great movie. There's a lot of things that you know could be done a lot better. Uh huh. There's a lot of things that I feel like could have like been it done. Is, yeah, this is much stronger. This is very much seems like the second movie that Ghibli ever made. Like yeah. I, I I get it's good. It's important to show this kind of uh, history, especially within Japan, mm-hmm. and show it to other cultures and the the effects of war on people and you know, civilians, including children, and how they have to grow up with it or else they will die, which they died even though they tried to. I think they should have handled it a bit better, though. I mean, no, yeah, I, it, I, it's based on, an, on the novel, right? I know maybe the novel might be a bit different since this is, yeah, it's what is adaptation. this, is still considered a child movie or a, like a... No, it's it's PG-13. PG-13. Okay, so I feel like, again, when it... This is kind of the same problem I had with Akira, in a sense, mm. where... In this case, it wasn't that everything was going too fast. It's everything was going a little too slow. Yeah. Well, like, I, I get that for sure. Painfully slow, at least for me. Because it, um, it was... It was rough watching it. Yeah. Not because of what I saw. It was just because nothing happened. Like, mm-hmm. I get... You're showing me the bond between sister and brother. I get it. But I don't need to see it again. 
and again I, and again, but much slower over yeah, time. Like, I, I get feel, it. You're I a good f- brother. You're trying to make sure she's having a good childhood. Let's go to the beach. Let's go eat. Let's, Let's go, go to the beach. do all this other stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Hey, I just, hey, I, I think just, that's a plane. More so, I feel more than anything that it's supposed to be a slow burn. And deal. at least it was consistently slow. Yeah, it wasn't. It. it wasn't jumpy with the pacing. I don't know, man. But like, uh, it's it. I don't know, man. It just seems I'm okay with the pace. Yeah, mostly because it's an hour and a half long. If it was two hours or like two and a half if, hours, I'd be I'd have a very different. I don't, I don't know. It opinion. was still terribly too long for me. They could have at least done something else. Um, I know you probably shouldn't. I know this movie's not trying to glorify war or anything, but it felt as though the attacks. And again, I'm not saying like, oh, I want more action. It just felt like the attacks were a little too far. Uh, Few and spread far between. Out. Yeah, there was the there was the scene at the beginning, and I got it. I got the feel. It's war. They got to run, and then. You know, you just hung out, and I was like, "Cool." Well, um, it, where's is the war gonna affect you in any other way other than um, relationship wise? Then it came well, back, mm-hmm. and I think there was like what two, maybe two, three attacks. There, there yeah, were a couple more the air raids. Most, uh, a couple of them weren't, and shown. some some practice tests or something like, or uh, or like what do you what do you call them? The drills. Drills. There were some drills. Like I get, I get that that's something too. But I don't know. It was I, again personally. It was painfully slow. It was mm. too slow. I I found myself nodding off. And yeah. When I'm nodding off, I'm not invested yeah. in the movie. I. Uh, you know, it's it's a. Uh, I get it. I I totally get where you're coming from. I personally think it was okay, but I can definitely tell you that it it was a slower movie. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, to, at least Ghibli had nowhere to go but up. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you, right? I I can agree there. Um, um, but what 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 part of the movie we were at? He moved in with his aunt. Yeah, right? moved yeah, in with his aunt. Aunt was being a bitch. Aunt person. was the worst. Yeah. Like again, she's wartime the... makes you makes you change. Yeah. Like, but I don't. She was just a butthole. Yeah. Yeah, she was a big butthole. But again, it's it was believable. I, at I least. it was very believable. Yeah. Because like even just having somebody stay at your house in a normal circumstance, you know, you get a little ticked off once they're there for a while. You're like. He's touching my stuff, or he's still he's here, eating, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Not doing it anything. happens, you know. It mm-hmm. happens, and so like I think that was the strongest point of the film. Yeah, the whole situation of like it's family, but like you know, if you're not, if you're upset, like you can get upset with them because you're just not used to them there. Um, huh. That was just real scummy of her. She was like, "You're not doing anything," and like I get it, he wasn't, but like again, he's he's got to. If no one's taking care of of Setsuko. In like a way and where she can is, at least yeah. stay, yeah. Then who is? And you know he could have done a little more to help out mm-hmm. in in her defense. But again, that was I think that was the I think that was the best part of the film for me. The whole interaction with the aunt, I hated it, but it was the best part. I think yeah. that one really like did its job justice, and I applaud the movie for that. That's the good part. Um, clap, 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 clap. Uncomfortable applaud. but good. No, yeah. You know, I I was looking up. Uh, Ghibli and just looking around and I just realized that Grave of the Fireflies and My Neighbor Totoro released on the same day. Ooh. That's a big yikes, my dog. Which which that's... makes me confused. Yeah, that's both April sixteenth, nineteen eighty eight. Because I saw it on my anime list and I was like, that doesn't seem right. And it is. That just and they both did reasonably well. They got a couple million at the box office each. A couple um, milli. Yeah, five million for Grave and then six point one for Totoro, but it just seems weird that they would both release at the same time. That seems like box office suicide. Like, why yeah. wouldn't you wait a little? But whatever, that's not my deal. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. This this is just uh, rough around the edges, rough around most of the edges for mm-hmm. this movie for sure. Oh, still good. Yeah, it, it. I it like I keep saying that it's still important to watch or important to know. I think other mediums have done it. A well, yeah, tad but it's important to know this type of of course effect no on I, war and, effect. 
Because I just War never change. Well, because like I, as, I personally wouldn't watch it again. I yeah. might recommend it to anybody who watches anime, but nobody outside. Yeah, that, no, I I wouldn't. I this would not be a oh you don't watch anime. Well, you should watch this. There's so many <laughs> other wanna... Ghibli films that you could recommend that are better. Yeah. Um, like another one that released on the same day. <laughs> yeah. Woo, crazy. But like I bought the wrong ticket. <laughs> oh no, I got. I, Hey, Mom, you got me the Grave of the Fireflies ticket. I wanted to go to Totoro. There was a big funny haha man there. There was a big guy. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I think I think this type of depiction, especially with the glorification of war and normalization of it now, is really important because, like, you know, you have Call of Duty and all that stuff and just being like, oh, shoot guy. Shoot guy. And then you're like, mm. but what happens to guy you shoot? That's what happened to family. family. Yeah, what happened to family? Family sad. What happened to the fam? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what happened to his fam? Crazy. Yeah. You're right, though. Yes. Yeah. That's that's a good point. <laughs> I I'm just we're just this is just like a very like quiet episode. I mean, yeah. it, it's reflective of the film. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. We're gonna. It's a slow burner. This one too. Yeah. Well, and I I like media like that where it's just consistently very slow. It's a very contained experience. Mm -hmm. It was, if anything, the experience of the film itself was more enjoyable than anything uh, about the film individually. Individually, like Mm -hmm. it's a sort of the whole is greater than the sum of its parts situation. Ah. Now, well, I enjoyed some of the parts, but not the whole. There we go. Okay, that's, that's my, fair. That's my opinion. Well, your opinion Again, the is part... fucking wrong. Hey, oh. you know what? I, <laughs> hey, screw you there, buddy. Hey, don't, po- don't let me get my machete hey, you're podcasting you. Hey, you're podcasting you. Let them hey. podcast. Hey, remember when we said we only do actual facts? We're all giving our facts As out real on facts. the lawn. Real, real facts. facts. <laughs> real fake um, facts. <laughs> one of one of the things that I really wanted to talk about as like one of the main themes of this uh show or this movie and you know it's big because I wrote it down. Um oh, dang. the juxtaposition of letters? childhood and innocence with war and violence and the merging of the two especially when there are several times where there's like an air raid and uh Seda tells Setsuko's is like Hey, you better get on here or else you'll get blown up by bombs or like you better hurry up. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, he's he's so nonchalant about it. Yeah. I mean, you have to at that point. Yeah. Like you yeah. can't just say like those are just fireflies. Yeah. <laughs> Falling from the sky. Yeah. But bigger. You can't you can't really hide it once it's in plain sight. Yeah. yeah. What you can do is try to keep them calm as in the way that he did try. Yeah, That's like, true. We gotta go. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, I know you don't want to die yet. You can't just be like, we're gonna die. Get out of here. Get out of run. Escape. Escape. He at least, Ape escape. Yeah, he had, he at least did good in, in the fact of keeping her calm during yeah. those times of struggle. But there's a limit to both. And I feel like that is what the movie does decently well if you paid attention or didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Pido. But yeah, it's. It was rough, dude. I hated it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hated, 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 like, the movie or hated the experience? I hated the experience. Fair. The movie is Me fine. Me too. Me the too. The experience was just not Well, it's just I depressing. Hated. Yeah, there it's, wasn't, like, But the, the thing is, I don't feel sad. They deserve it. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He right. was yeah. very irresponsible. He and was that's irresponsible. What I'm, that's yeah. what I'm mad about. Like, if yeah. anything, the movie did make me feel. I didn't feel sad. I felt bored and when he did do something you know that progressed the plot i was just upset with the way he thought it through again it's it's, it's a child yeah. it's a child a thinking ch- it's and a 20 and a 20 something year old man here on a podcast mm-hmm. who's not seen war <laughs> other than on tv and games just saying like there's a better way to do this uh so you know don't get the wrong idea i do have a heart i just i have a it's I have just a covered in, way of- in steel it's, it's kind of just, there is no heart. I have no soul. <laughs> Poor no, guy, but Pino. again, every time he did something that I wouldn't do, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, this movie yeah, is I, just 
Like, yeah, I, no, I was not cringe because again, cringe. I feel like it's a little more negative. I yeah. just did not like the character. Mm-hmm. I feel like, and that's just ugh. um the accolades of being a Ghibli film and being the first um, with all these accolades. A lot of people just slap like a good rating on this and go home because you're like, ah, oh, mm-hmm. feels. And like, I, I agree with you, Pino, that there's a lot that is still wrong with this and Mm -hmm. a lot that can be fixed. And I feel like it should be looked at more, more critically than Mm -hmm. a, than just a, Oh, it's a Ghibli. It's a Ghibli (laughs) film. And it's about, it's about dying people stamp. Yeah. He gets the, the approved signal. I mean, and that's why I was extra critical with Akira too. Like again, manga is a masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Akira movie is a well, mess, yeah, like, in my opinion. No, yeah, it, of course. It, it story wise, it's a mess. Mm-hmm. Again, it animation wise, yeah. that was beautiful. Yeah, exactly. It was, well, it was, um, it was something it new. It was groundbreaking. Yeah. But it's garbage to me. Well, because what you <laughs> would call it? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, because like Silent especially Voice was the other with, movie um, we watched, and that was a good one. What? It was fantastic. I didn't the Silent Voice oh, was a movie oh, yeah, we watched, that and that was fantastic. Beautiful. That was yeah. fantastic. Um, so I do like movies. Okay? He does. <laughs> um, but what? What is it? Freaking. But with like Akira. They had six giant manga like volumes to go through, and they took like from the first half of one and the last half of six, mm-hmm. and then they kind of just weaved it together haphazardly. And like this, I, I feel like this is a little bit. It, this was a complete story, but there wasn't any adaptation. Well, there wasn't like any yeah. positive upswing. Is the well, because I guess it's war. Like I get, I, I get that there's no positive upswings. I'm not. I didn't come into this wanting to like feel good. Wanting to feel good. <laughs> I came in this knowing that it would not be a feel good movie. Yeah. Knowing that it okay. wouldn't be. And they even tell you at the beginning is like they, I, died. I died here I was like, on the twenty yeah, first okay. night of September, and I'm like, Do you remember I'm like, okay, I'm gonna find out how you died. Yeah, and we did. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I feel like died. there was there. You know, you don't need a. You don't need someone else to tell you, hey, this movie is not happy. It's yeah. just, you, you see it when you watch it. Like, I died. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, tell you're like, how. oof. Tell me how. Yikes. No, thank you. Um, yeah. But, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I will We're say, probably going to get um, flamed <laughs> for being more, I know, I will. I more critical. Bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Uh, oh. I'll take you to town. Yeah, you, I, I will appreciate the fact, Like I will appreciate yeah. the fact that out of most of the Japanese movies that I've seen with, and like I mentioned before, like a lot of them have to do with Japanese mysticism and like um, other worlds yeah. and what whatnot. Um, it was super refreshing not to have that. Like you saw him as a ghost or mm-hmm. a spirit, and his sister is a spirit. And when I saw that, I, like <laughs> I groaned. I audibly, I was like, "Oh my god, it's going to be another one of these fantasy <laughs> movies." I'm glad it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Again, and it's and it's very. It's very kind of. It sounds kind of hypocritical. I'm glad it wasn't. I didn't like how it was executed, but it was yeah. refreshing not to have like, oh, other universe, oh, ugly the four monster. Crystals oh. Of well, Ghibli. yeah, a yeah. lot of uh, a lot of Ghibli and films I are like that, that too. Yeah. So and I, it's that is grounded. one thing I will praise this movie. It was grounded. It was set. It just uh, for me again. It was just too slow, and I just hated the characters, <laughs> the character himself. The, the Pino guy. gives it a zero out of five. No, I'm not crazy like Garbalis. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, pew pew, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I'm critical because I, I, exp- I wanted it to be better. Oh yeah. And it could have been better. And I think the, the again where it shines, it shines. Oh believe where it me, doesn't you're, is everywhere. You're preaching. You're preaching of the choir here, man. If it's <laughs> like, if it can be better, and like, there's clearly something that can be. Mm-hmm. Like and improved on, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna get angry because it's not. <laughs> right. And I, I kind of like it makes me kind of curious on how the the since it's an adaptation, I want to know what the the novel or what, was it a source book or something? Material. It was a novel. I want to yeah. know what the source material it was. It was, was like a. Like, um, <clears throat> give me one second. I had because if we get more of that, then I can. Yeah, it's it's based. Then I don't uh, feel it's bad. Grave of the Fireflies is based on the 1967 semi autobiographical short story of okay. the same name. By uh, Ayuki Nosaka, uh, which okay. is centered on this experience before and after the American firebombings of Kobe in 1945. 
Okay. Kobe? No. <laughs> I've been to Kobe, actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dang. Nice. It didn't look like that because it was all gone. What? Mm. Well, 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 they rebuilt, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it wasn't just rubble when I went there. And I'm like, ah, yes, I see. The way you but what, based that out. What could compare to just lying out in the stars? Uh, I'm sorry. I was just like, yeah. I mean, this this is a sad um, movie, so it's like we. Gotta, I think we it's a. I think it's more song. of a big thonk movie. It was. It it's, is. A it's thonk a very movie. big. Thonk. Absolutely. It's, yeah. And that's what we're doing right mm-hmm. now. That's why we're not exactly. laughing that much because our brains exactly. are working overtime. We can't allocate <laughs> any of our RAM to funniness. We just right. have to be thinking the whole time. <laughs> so if you're here for more butt jokes uh, and sensitive humor, wait, wait, maybe wait till next episode. Filler. Yeah, wait, wait for the filler episode. Then we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. The about The butt it. jokes will be a plenty. Yes. You have my word. <laughs> you have my butt. No, you do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, but let's 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 continue on with that plot. Yeah. Um, so aunt again, aunt was just upset. Like you're not going to war. You're yeah. not doing anything, right? She's like, well, then, then you can just go live in that fucking cave. And he's like, I guess I'm gonna, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna. <laughs> look at me. I'm gonna <laughs> got seven thousand yen in the bank. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> go yeah. buy a rice cooker. Go buy a shitty umbrella. I laugh when she's like, he bought that rice cooker to spite me. Yeah. I, I giggled. I was just like, damn, lady, are you really, are you, you really ate him that much? He's your, he's like almost blood. Like, come yeah. on, lady, calm down. Yeah. I hate her. I hate her yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. But then they go, they live in the cave for a while. Mm-hmm. And, yes. you know, at, at first things were, were all great because, you know, cave sure. had, They had funds. Yeah. They had ways to get food. Um, but again, war brings you know scarcity ra- rations and whatnot yeah. and so the food yeah. became the less farmer frequent. they were getting their food from was running low himself and that was bumming him out as well mhm and then again f- it's fair to him cuz like yo you that that's your job and like yeah you can sell it but where where does that leave your food yeah so like i understood where he's coming from again a lot of these people could have been a lot nicer or at least have had a nicer heart but i get it well, wartime yeah. is wartime farmers mm-hmm. the best character <laughs> The farmer, when he beat the shit out of him, and he's like, maybe this is assault. And he's like, ah! And I'm like, right. <laughs> get out of here. Once he went to stealing, I was like, oh my God. Just apologize to your well, aunt. Like, well, like, he didn't have money. And like. I know. At that point, apologize to your aunt. Yeah. He Everybody was, told him, like, hey, apologize. Yeah, like, he was kind of being a. Be set. Yeah. And he was like, he was being no. a butt. He was like, no, I'm, I'm like, going to be no. an he, ass. No. He took the responsibility upon himself when he, when he was not ready yeah, for it. Yeah, when he clearly was not uh, equipped mm-hmm. for well, because he's a child. It hurt when he stole. It hurt when he stole. Yeah. And he stole right in front of her, too. And I was just like, oh, my God, no. This ain't no Aladdin. No, no. no. Where it's glorified. No. <laughs> Where it's glorified. It is glorified. It is a hun- bread line. He has a whole <laughs> song about stealing. That's his whole deal. Yeah, dude. Uh, I steal only what I can't afford. <laughs> It's everything. It's everything. <laughs> I'm poor. God. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> he didn't learn a damn thing in that movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <exactly. laughs> All he knew. Let's talk about Aladdin. Come on, Doc. <laughs> Good song. He's a terrible person. Yeah. At least say to die. I want to be the prince. <laughs> and he got to learn from his consequences because he's fucking dead. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Let's, I'm going to rate uh, Aladdin a lot worse when we watch this. <laughs> We're going to roast this, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm if, gonna, you, if you want to watch... Uh, us review, to watch uh other anime that's not anime well subscribe like, to our Avatar, patreon the and then we'll do it there's only one good disney movie so I and that's even and Steven's that's movie. chicken little the 3d no. animated oh. classic that uses uh, an original bare naked lady song <laughs> wanna, it, was, it was an I original wanna... song yeah oh one little slip dude Man. that song slaps <laughs> Dude, that, that's slip. dude. Is this the funky trivia button? Guys, welcome to the FTP. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that's <cool. laughs> that's that's like my only fun fact for chick. And it was also Disney's first CG animated film, and it shows. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, how about Man. Craven? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, let me think. I know I wrote down. Something. We're zipping through the plot. They're like literally well, like well, the. There's a, only a few, like, really big story beats to go over. 
Yeah, and yeah. there's like a lot of smaller things which I'm like, I get it. It makes sense that it makes sense. Like all of you know, it's slow. It's a slow build trying to build that relationship because the movie is very much between the two children. Like at this point, I already could tell he loved his sister. Oh yeah. As soon as he tried to save her and try to calm her, I'm like, okay, this man knows what to do. I know. Yeah. So that was good. Thank you. Oh, sure. I gotta close my window. There's like a symphony of honks going on outside. Dude, honk, Charlie, honk, honk. he's driving me mad. <laughs> symphony of the honk. Dude, that's. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> honk, 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 the, the, honk. You've heard honk, of symphony honk, of the bells. Now you're symphony of the honks. Quack 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 quack
Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I hate it, 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 it it's for the, the right the reasons. I hate it is the real shit. This is the this is the I hate it of the real like yeah because it's they did an excellent job there, and it was again that part was rough to watch. I will admit that was just I did not want it. I was uncomfortable, and they did you know they did their part. That's exactly what they wanted. Yeah, they well, wanted us to feel that the, part. Yeah. That exact point was when they said, "Okay, yeah, Setsuko, she never woke up," and it's like, "Oh, yeah. fuck." You just I was like, oh. brush right on by that. Like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Well, like, that's the thing with dying. It well, happens. Yeah, exactly. And then it's that's mm-hmm. it. And the total well, I like summer, the way they did um, it. Let me no, yeah. clarify. Yeah, I, I feel like that, the last, <clears throat> like, ten minutes were handled super mm-hmm. well. Yeah, Like, I of showing that. her degrading, eating the watermelon, and then passing away and God. the fly landing on her cheek and not flinching mm-hmm. or anything and her eyes stayed open and it's just that that hurt <laughs> that was mm-hmm. rough and then obviously they had the phonograph scene because uh japan surrendered mm-hmm. yeah unconditionally um and then they uh show her running around in inner ghosty form and then shows the mm-hmm. Cremation, which once again I think was done super well, you know, right. kind of the putting all of her belongings and then how. Well, minus the box. Well, yeah, and then well, because the thing is, he puts it in there. Yeah, yeah, and then he, he thinks it about it for a second and, and and takes it back out. Mm-hmm. And then the nice touch of, you know, that I like kept some of the ashes in this box, mm-hmm. and I really did like the. The box symbolism, and it's throughout the whole movie, because he gets the box of fruit drops from when he buried it in the yard before the first bombing, or like the first fire bombing that we see. Yeah. And kind of them trying to stretch it out and to even right. to the point of putting water in it and then pouring it out and right. saying, "Oh, it's like a, it tastes." It like- was I, it was a symbol of like, I guess, short relief or. You know, a nice little pause in their hectic life. Because yeah. every time he would give candy to his sister, it was always when she was upset or in a foul mood or even just like, you know, just dealing with the realities of life. And like, you know, it was nice to see her smile, but, um, you know, it could only go so far. Yeah, right. I, I, I appreciated that mm-hmm. as well. And then I, I did enjoy at the beginning, actually. Um, when the I guess like the the janitor guy tossed out the the tin, um, that the a little bit of bone and ash came out, and that's when uh, Setsuko um, really like appeared, mm-hmm. and I was like, that's I like that. That was an interest. That was I a good choice. That. And I don't, man, it's just. A, like a somber movie, and there's a lot that could be touched on better, and you know, character choices and blah blah blah. But right, um, like especially uh, now knowing this, like all of the history, be- like before all the bombings, and culturally, and with like architecture and written history, all gone mm-hmm. due to this uh, war, and I think that's it's. For me, that's the worst part. Like, there's people yeah. dying, and there's so much culture and history being destroyed out of mindless, like, warfare. I wish there was more of a focus on that, I think. Well, th- I, on one hand, I, I very much see where you're coming from, but on the other, they would have, I don't know where they would have fit that in without mm-hmm. artificially lengthening it out. What I initially assumed as soon as he moved to his aunt's house, I, at that point, you know, I, I like making predictions while I'm watching a lot of media that I've never seen before. So I assumed that they would be raided again um, and he'd have to move to a different home, maybe find his family. There was a brief mention of why don't you find uh, your father's or it was either your father or your mother's side's family um, in, in, a, in another city. And I was like, OK, are they going to seek that out? Is that where... Um, their death lies in in a different uh, city, and uh, you know they didn't do that. I I feel like that would have been a way to maybe implant some more 
of the tragedies of war or see more of that kind of imagery. But um, you yeah. know, they stayed. They stayed in the location. And I get it. They're kids. You know, can't really get far, especially when there's. I feel like it would. Now that I think about it, I feel like that would be a. I would feel a little more. Like I would have felt more yeah. if they did go on a journey because mm-hmm. they're just leaving the comfort of their home just and barely and moved to away, journey yeah. on to some place where there might not be any hope. Instead of I'm leaving to somewhere very close yeah. <laughs> where I can get yeah help no I wish excessively. what I I wish what would have happened is that they started their journey to Tokyo mm-hmm. and be uh, like oh relatives are there so let's move in that direction and that would be mm-hmm. the the big issue traveling and. You know, stealing and all all the things yeah. I think would have a better uh, a better feel to it because there is no relief or like direct relief there. Mm-hmm. But you know, there's. But I do appreciate that it was a kind of it was a closed environment. Yeah, in a, in a sense, it was the same locations, same people. Um, it again grounded in realism. I don't expect kids to go out out of the way to go to the city, but it would have been nice. Um, yeah. In a, in, I guess, in a, in a different type of story. But again, this is an adaptation, so um, at least I'm assuming at that point it's it's sticking close to its source. Um, so I, I don't have too many issues yeah. with that. But, you know, it could have been done differently. If no, yeah, absolutely. I think direction. if they had took a little bit more creative freedom within it, I feel like they could still hit all those same story beats, like, oh, like, with the kids being like, oh, this is a dirty shack or whatever, and this isn't a right. home. They could have still done know. that, just mm-hmm. made it more of a journey and made it that, oh, right. this is the point why we are moving, not just surely out of spite. It's because mm-hmm. we have to keep moving or else we will die sooner. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. I don't... This is just a really hard movie to review. Yeah. <laughs> you you don't want to offend, but I keep saying I hate it, so it's kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no. There's a lot of there's good aspects and there's bad aspects. That's I wouldn't yeah, I I don't want to call it bad aspects. Well, just like uh, they're not well well developed, un, undeveloped like they're I feel like they're too sublime. I don't know. What? They're too No, no I don't even know what the word <laughs> sublime is. Yeah. They're too, <laughs> I was like too sublime. I'm like they're too God, what is the word? Conservative? No. It's not the word isn't underwhelming either, because again, we're There's too many you, you, words. Uh, <laughs> there's so there's many There's too many words in the English dictionary. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna go to change into Japanese. <laughs> they have <laughs> less <laughs> letters. Yeah. But, mm, <laughs> yeah, you're right. They don't have any letters. They have characters. Exactly. <laughs> Zero letters yeah. is better. Brilliant. <laughs> Flawless. There's nothing else difficult about Japanese at all. It was just slow. That's yeah, all I can really I say. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, um, it ended fairly nice. I mean, they were... Uh, please, uh, clarify this for me if I'm wrong. Once they were sitting on that bench or wherever, they were on looking like, a future, like the future city. Like, yeah. That was like... T- uh, quote unquote current. Well, yeah, as of yeah. as of nineteen as of that movie. <laughs> current, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that touch. Yeah, they were I don't. Just a wandering spirit. I'm just. I'm very glad that the spirit thing didn't go beyond just standing there. You know. Yeah. Right. Because that could have been a whole deal, and I'm like, that's just too much. Yeah. Like you said before, Pino, all the mysticism and. The possibility that they could have done that, and they've done that in many other shows. That they do that too much. Yeah. I'm sorry, Japan. You do it too <laughs> I, much. I'm trying to watch a Japanese movie without feeling uncomfortable half the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have an existential crisis every time. You come <laughs> every 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 end of the season, we have another existential crisis. God, <laughs> I hate this. Tis life. I'm gonna drink some water. The okay, funky the existential podcast. Fip. Fip. Um, do we want to talk about characters uh, very briefly? Because there's yeah. two. Yeah, three. there's there's like two and a half. Let's yeah. start with the easiest one. Aunt. Aunt was a she's a bitch. A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she was nice at the start, but you can tell someone was up. Yeah, well, she was just she agitated. Just write a letter she, to your father because she was you know two more people to feed. Yeah. yeah. 
And I get it, wartime is wartime, but family, I don't know, man. If you're family, you at least got to have their back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that I, don't, I understand where she's coming from, but I don't have any respect for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just one of those harsh realities of life that it, it, it happens. It can happen. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> then we got sucks. Seda. <laughs> Seda, Seda, Seda. I had so much hope for you, Say. Yeah, and then... You were a good boy, and you threw it all away. Well, but I yeah. get it. He was trying to be a good brother, trying to keep her happy. And in the process, kind of let it get go to, let it go too far. Yeah. There's a lot of things he could have done. He could have offered to do more stuff at the home, though it, he, didn't, he didn't have to, at least I think so. Yeah. Especially because he lost both parents. Unknowingly, he lost both. Uh, he lost his father, but... Yeah. He lost both parents... What are you going to do with a kid like that? You're not going to be like, ha, they died. Go fight. For ah, them. rip. No, yeah. don't do that. You, you have one more family member to like live for. And, yeah. you know, despite all the choices he made, I think he at least did what he wanted to and, you know, stuck with his sister and, you know, did the best he could. Mm-hmm. But he sucks. Okay. <laughs> Next. Fair. Anyone else? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, don't, I'm you just, about I don't know. You said it all. The, yeah, most of the like most of the conflict is kind of his like obviously the situation put him in the yeah the whole deal, but he could have Absolutely. handled it a lot better. But I get it. Mm-hmm. You're a 14 year old goofus. Yeah, I couldn't have done I mean, better. I so. couldn't have done better as a kid. Either. <laughs> I could. Now- I would have died quicker. <laughs> if anything. Yeah, I I wouldn't have survived. Bro, put me to work on like I'll. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeding me my portion, even though it's my portion. I mean, I guess I'll help. Not gonna, not gonna run yet. <laughs> not God. yet. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not until the war ends, and then I gotta figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, then I'll ditch. Peace. Yeah. Peace. And we got Setsuko, who's just innocent little girl. <sighs> just cinnamon bun. Yeah. Just, I think the, like you know, just being caught up in all this, which isn't her fault, and it just sucks. Yeah, it was not her fault. It was just circumstance after yeah. circumstance. And then she died. Yep. Sucks. I don't know. I feel like she may... I don't want to say she died happy because she looked well, like... Well, she kind of did because she had the watermelon as her last... Meal. Yeah. And she liked it. Her last yeah. meal. And she, she thought she was it. eating candy. Which is she thought she had rice up. balls. Yeah. I know. Yeah, she's like, oh, man. When she was like, I made these rice balls, I was like, No. No, no, I d- you're not. I was a worried on. she was gonna bite into them. And yeah, I was. Gonna I was scream. gonna. I would have actually, cause, so I watched this with Joan, which surprised everyone. Um, but like every couple minutes, I would just look, look at her, and she would look at me, and we would just both shake our head and then go back to watching, like oh, no God, words. Yeah. It's just like, oh my God, it's like, just like this is rough. shit is rough. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Oh, man, I can't wait to watch something sad for the first episode of season three. Nah, if it's me, it was Bobo Bo. Mm, but it's not. Because mm. mm. you, you, you get to pick the next Ghibli film. Uh, or do you? I don't know. I think so. It should be. I haven't done enough math yet. We'll figure it out in a year. We'll, go, <laughs> we'll get this, back to you. I said the same thing when I was talking to Pino about it, like before recording. Where he was like, am I going to be doing the next season finale? And I was like, I don't know, man. That would require math, which I'm not <laughs> willing to do right now. Well, because cause, um, cause 26 is not a multiple of three, so it changes every time. So I'd assume so. We'll see. We'll see in a year. Come back, yeah, come back in a year and see what happens. <laughs> Comment on this video specifically on YouTube saying who had the episode. Yeah, Ideally, someone do the math for us. Ideally, you'll just keep watching these, wink, wink, and send us an email at funkyanimepodcast at gmail.com. We're not at that section yet, Chief. Contact at funkyanimepodcast.com. I know, but I just got to throw it in. You got to naturally squeeze it in there. I I appreciate that. I know, man, I I know that squeeze isn't usually one of, like, the bad (laughs) words to say, but, like, just the way you said it, I was like, I didn't like what you just said. Yeah. I don't. Uh, there's a certain inflection on the way I say things that sometimes it just sounds gross. Yeah, and it maybe you know, it's probably intentional and yeah, it's just not. It's realized. just because you're an asshole, right. really. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Easy there. One hundred percent. But yeah, Setsuko, uh, a child. It's pure cinnamon bun. Yeah. A child. Unfortunate um, well, circumstances surrounding her. I, 
And then, don't know if we want to do the next segment. <laughs> well, because originally, uh, you know, the pick I hey, was going to pick, hey, but I hey, feel like it's not appropriate hey. though. Yeah, what? Welcome to the fifty-second oh, no, edition of Who's the that. Best Grill, the Fuck. part of the podcast no. where each contestant is really for their me. choice for the best grill of the episode and do get out for a title of Best Grill. Today, our contestants once again, for the final time this season, Pino Garb, myself, and the Patreon. Who are you each advocating for? I pick the first farmer. <laughs> you pick the first farmer? Because <laughs> he was Can the pick... only rounded character. Can I just pick the beach? <laughs> I don't want to pick the American army. In it. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, it was the <laughs> Navy first off, so. You, you'd sorry, be fine if you picked the army. They had. <sighs> yeah, they, they had, had nothing no to do with it. <laughs> no, I, uh, and I pick, I pick the fruit, and the fruit drop tin. I'm gonna let, hold on, let me think. I thought you picked the swing. No. I changed. You changed? Can I pick the. No, yeah, I don't Yeah, you pick could the pick the swing. No, I don't want the swing at all. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. God. Can I refuse? Didn't the didn't our Patreon people refuse? Can I defend no no refusing? no the uh, the Patreon pick uh, Setsuko Setsuko okay there, there was a refusal though there was one refusal if you'd like to fight for refusal and Setsuko I'm okay with that I refuse and say okay I'll fight for Setsuko but I also refuse okay I'll start okay I refuse because <laughs> I personally think it's just not Respectful. it's not appropriate for this yeah <laughs> I. There's nobody I would personally say like, hey, you're pretty cool. No, nah, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all stinko bingos. Yeah. Y'all stinko Stinky bingos. binkies, dude. But again, it's circumstantial. Yeah. It's war. It's, the, there was one lady who was real nice and then never showed up again. Yeah. Um, yeah, the lady at, nice, the, but, at the school. It was like, here, I'll look yeah. over the child. But no, I, 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 I abstain because it's not, it's, it's not, it's not a movie for that. Yeah. I get that. I also hate it. <laughs> I, I definitely get that. Um, however, I'll do my joke one too. I picked the homeboys, our good old American boys, because we won. Okay. Anyways, um, as for Setsuko, uh, she's a pure cinnamon bun. She had nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. We didn't even see her grow up. I oh. just want to hug her and protect her. That's all yeah, I want to do. I'm, really, I can't argue I that. Do. I can argue. Take against... her to a doctor. I can argue I'll... against the military. The American homeboys. <laughs> yeah. The boys in blue. The boys in blue. You know okay. why? Yeah, because they suck. Well, because we just sh- shouldn't have done all that. But you, uh, yeah, okay. it just uh, war makes you do war. Fuck, war, war sucks. War. What is guys, war sucks. For? guys? Here's Absolutely. my here's my here's my here's my hot take of the episode. War fucking sucks. War is bad. War is bad, war. guys. Hot take of the episode. War never changes. Thunderous applause. Everyone stood up and clapped, and then I got dismissed from class early. <laughs> and they gave you a sweet, crisp $100 bill. <laughs> With my big band Benny G on it. <laughs> Benny G. Wow. <laughs> but no. Yeah, um, no, it's right. Setsuko is a precious baby. Setsuko is a baby. Literally. Okay. Um, I picked... I picked the the fruit drop tin because it was the third main character in this whole movie. It had the most screen was. time besides the two main ones. I don't know, dog. And I also, feel like it also caused also, some of the problems. Well, it also gave happiness, and it was also a thorough line to even the end where her ashes, uh, Setsuko's ashes, was put inside, and therefore a very important character. And also didn't talk. That was the best part. You know what? That was my You're favorite right. part. I I agree. Thank you. Kept their mouth shut. Yep. Unless it needed to open to spit out gumdrops yeah. or to Fruit pour drops. out some flavored water. Yeah, we. I don't. I didn't like I, that Well, water I part. get. I, I cut. I don't know. I get. I get why they did that to like get the last little flavor juice out of it, and also right. flavor juice. And I just. I had imagined it, and I was like, "It's like if you have Jolly Ron- Ranchers Runchers. in your mouth, and <laughs> Jolly Ranch. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you have Jolly Ranchers and water, that just doesn't feel like a good combination." Well, yeah, it's not, but they still did what they could yeah. with it, you know. Yeah, but I, uh, the taste, I just Pino I doesn't. I, I, Pino I doesn't like people. On the first live action episode, we'll do. We'll have the Gios special. We'll have some Pizza Hut pizza and a oh Rolo. My God. 
and we'll <laughs> and drink like, some. God, Rolo's a candy. Jo- yeah, and we'll remember we talked about that. Yeah, and we'll have some Jolly Roger water. I, oh yes, Jolly that's Roger. that's what we'll drink. Yo, I'll, I'll put it, it, instead of ice cubes. I'll put frozen Jolly Ranchers in all of our drinks. I hate. I hate. <laughs> oh, I, I'd have to quit the podcast. <laughs> no, that'd be the last episode of the that podcast. That would be the last episode of the podcast. But um. Yeah, I just think the tin's the best because it also holds the ashes of a dead child. That's Scrumble fair. smash. I picked Farmer because he was the only reasonably headed character in the entire. Completely. Farmer like wasn't too mean, but it wasn't too nice either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to watch forward. out for his own family. Yeah, clearly, he's an honest worker. Yeah, he's a farmer. You know, <laughs> he's making his way through wartime. He's doing his best. He's doing everything he can. And he's just chilling there. And he's a family man. And smoking his pipe. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that either. Well, if you also refuse, like all of us yeah. actually secretly, yeah. Do, if we, you if, you, if you email. refuse by literally not picking any significant character at all, uh, email us at funkyanimepodcast at gmail dot com. Once again, that is funkyanimepodcast at gmail dot com. And we do have some emails. Oh boy. Woohoo! Yippee! Yippee! Um, <laughs> Yippee! So we Ooh. we have several emails from Sadie. Smacked a wall. We're gonna run through them Whoa. quick. First from Sadie says, "You guys are my babies and my soft boys. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you, Sadie. Babies. I, I got a beard. <laughs> I don't have a beard. I can't grow a beard. Actually, I shaved, so I guess. Oh no, you. you're a baby too. No, oh, no. <laughs> you reverted baby. back to a child." And he's soft. He's, you shaved. He's a soft a baby. Um, next. The next thing. <laughs> Shit, I closed I, I, I closed <laughs> Gmail. No. Come back Gmail. But I know what, what it said. Welcome to another, the most somber edition of Fuck You, Pino. The hey, part man. of the sh- Maybe this once I'll lose. <laughs> we all lost it's watching this show. Um, but... Uh, okay. So, the uh, as, as always... Oh, what what's happening? Something's playing in my ears. Stop it. <laughs> Honestly, that's how I feel right now. Um, but, uh, so welcome to another episode of Fuck You, Pino. The part Hi, of the I'm show Pino. where we tell Pino, uh... Give him hints. Give him hints and features. One piece at a time. One piece at a time. And he has to guess after every hint, Pino or Gabe can jump in at any time. And let's get started. Number one. All right. This character has a shaved head. Ah, is it Saitama? No. Dang. Good guess. Step two. Uh, He has a long neck. Uh. (laughs) It's not curling. Hold hold the phone. (laughs) A shaved head and a long neck? What the... What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? What the freaking heck? Dude, a long neck and bald. Hmm. The heck? You got to get Oh, no, that's a... Ro- oh, no. He has hair. I was like, uh, I'll just say, Orochimaru? <laughs> no. Well, it's shaved. Like, have you seen shaved. a shaved head before? Oh, so, like, it's got, like, little aftershave? Little hairs, yes. Okay, little hairs. That was another hint. Little hairs. It was it Ed from Ed and Eddie? No, you're close. <laughs> Damn. Um, close. In this image, he's doing prayer hands. Hmm. How am I close? How the <laughs> hell am I close? It's <laughs> Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What the heck? He's doing prayer hands. Long neck, prayer hands. Uh, I'm using head. every brain cell. <laughs> is, that, is this an anime? Yes. Okay, what? That was your one question. <laughs> hey, I didn't even phone a friend yet. I know, uh, that was it. I was on speaker I can't believe that was my... I, I, I didn't call Chuck. I wanted to call my mom. <laughs> uh, shoot, I don't know. Uh, uh, Makara from Fairy Tale. No. Um, he's an emote in our Patreon server. Shh, I can't look. I can't oh, look. I can't look. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm not looking. 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 <laughs> He's not looking. I promise. <laughs> Who's on our Patreon server? Master Roshi does. He he's just bald. Uh, <laughs> home. No, it's one of those guys from 
Haikyuu. Oh, really? What's his name? Sure. Um, Tachibana Sensei. No. no. Hai. No. Um. Is, uh, God, what the hell is his name? Now I gotta look at the. <laughs> <laughs> totally not looking at the emote. I gotta look at the emote. I'm sorry. What is his name? Funky Kong? Mm, close. <laughs> One more guess. One more guess? When did I have a limit? <laughs> this is your last guess. What the hell? Ryu. Yes, Ryu. Ryu, yeah. Ryu Takanaka. I can't believe. Or Tanaka, not He doesn't have a... When you said long neck, Here, instead of a giraffe, there's, why the heck? There's, this man has a long ass neck in this image. Give me a second. I'll send it to you. This is... I call hacks, but again, I won, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? You did win. I won. It's not sending. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an old man. Damn dial-up internet. Damn dial-up dindernet. <laughs> Dinder. <laughs> Don't you dare dinder me. Bimbermet. I'll send it later. I'm, anyway, we got three I'm more emails dinder-dum. from Sadie. Oh, dang. So he let's says, go, let's go. It's a me, a Nico Nico Ni. Hey, I love you. I want Yo, to make a hoodie that says Fappin' Vibes. Can you do that or can I? <laughs> We We're might, straight vibing. We might steal that one day, but right now we do not have the funds. You have, you have full reign. You have full reign you right have... now to make a Fappin' Vibe shirt. You'll get many <laughs> looks, but I I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> and then That's a great idea. And <laughs> Bine is writing it down. He's like, oh, yes. Um, oh, no, that's and fine. Then we we'll, got, we'll always remember our roots. Yeah, and then we got two Thanksgiving messages. I hope you have oh, a great Thanksgiving, dude. Chuck Garvin Pino, and happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you. Woohoo! Oh, we're thankful, wow. thankful for that's you, so too. We're and thankful for you. all of our you. viewers. And this is actually being recorded a couple days uh, after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So we're all, we're all full from the Thanksgiving we're all full. munchies. Is that what they call it? Yes. Munchies. I ate a uh, food. I I eat those foods. <laughs> I, I eat those foods. What happened to all the stuffing? I eat, I eat those, those foods. foods. What happened to all the gravy? I eat, I those, eat those foods. foods. <laughs> Garb field. <laughs> Garb field. Yes, John. Time to kick Mariah Carey's hit song <laughs> off the table. <laughs> Don't Goodbye, do it, Garfield. Stu- it's almost Christmas. And to orbit you go, you stupid song. <laughs> all I want for Christmas is you. Okay. Um, but yes, that was all the emails. Thank you. So let's... Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. And a merry Thanksgiving. Merry Thanksgiving. <laughs> Murray's mom. Sorry. Um, I don't live in America. But yes. Sorry. Thank you. We Thanks appreciate the emails. the emails always. Thank you for the emails. We love you. And yeah, remember, really send emails to us and we'll read them on the internet. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I don't think I have any miscellaneous. I don't have miscellaneous at all. I'd, maybe I'll read the book. Maybe I won't. I probably Pro- won't. You probably will not. I'll look at the Spark Notes. If Let's there's see. one. I think I covered everything in my notes. Oh, the, the sound design was pretty good. I liked the, good. the sounds at the beach. Yeah, sound design was good. When they were stepping on the beach. Stepping on the beach. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Garb. He knew exactly what I was referencing. I don't know how to sing this song, so I just listened along. Oh, we were almost all on the same wavelength. We were almost there, just a little bit. Um, but yeah. Do we Let's, have a, I guess we're going into ratings maybe, right? Is, yeah. it, is it time to rate this? Is this yeah, time is. to make some people upset and other people be like, makes sense? Oh, yeah. boy. Who wants to start off? I think... Wrong. <laughs> oh, you got <laughs> it? Go ahead, dude. No, I go ahead. No, I didn't, I, I didn't say anything. Oh. I, I think I'm going to give it a three out of five. Yeah. Just a, just yeah, a straight three out of five. That's completely fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chuck? <laughs> it's okay. You can walk through it like I, I do. Cause I, it makes you sound more I sane. always look at all my rankings beforehand and kind of gauge my enjoyment. Mm-hmm. And I am I think I'm also going to have to give it a three. Just like it's above average, but it's not something that I'm going to go back to very much, even if mm-hmm. at all. I probably will in several years, but 
I and it's a, it's an important movie to see and like to know the context at least of the history of it. Um, but there's a, there's a lot better things you could be watching and spending mm. your time with. But since it is only an hour and a half, I can't fault it too much to just take an afternoon to watch it. And yeah, right. <sighs> Let's hear that fire. Wait, did you give it a number? Oh, yeah, I you gave it yeah, a three yeah, out of five. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, if I'm talking enjoyment, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Yeah. If I'm talking about themes, they talked about pretty. There was a lot of good themes covered, and I'm 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 a man who likes to delve in the thematics of of media, such as. Um, you know the, the hot topics of war and uh, and uh, other things as well. I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love nobody knocking. Yeah. <laughs> Shoutouts to knocking on the door. Anyways, um, <laughs> knocking on the door would help so I don't lose track of my place ever. Okay. Um. <laughs> again, it's a Ghibli movie. It's not ugly, it's not which ugly. is great. Yeah, It's not ugly, but it is a little dull. I mean, war is dull. I don't expect it to be colorful. I don't expect to see bright red blood. I expected everything I expected with the movie, and I got Um Are there other things that could be better? Uh-huh. Yes, there's a lot that could be better with this movie. Does it shine with some aspects? Yes, yes it does. Music, great. You know, it's a movie, and again, I won't I won't rate it too harshly because it is just a movie. Um, but again, if the movie has not hooked me within the the hour <laughs> of the of the beginning of the movie, then there's something wrong with me. <laughs> 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 so in that case, I'm. What did I give Akira? I probably gave it. You like gave a it a two, two point something. something. I'll look for it. Uh, no, you gave it a three point one actually. Wow. Yeah. I want to fix that. That was well. Bad. We'll talk about uh, that in the filler. Sheesh. We'll talk. Yeah, I'm giving this unfortunately a two point eight. Yeah. Again, I'm not watching this again. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh no, yeah. That... I'm glad I watched it. Yeah. I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I. I. You know, it's one of the Ghibli movies. Not many. Like not many people watch. Mm-hmm. Um. I appreciate what it's trying to tell. I appreciate the message. Um. I appreciate the storytelling. I don't appreciate the execution or the pacing. Yeah. Um. And it really hindered my my my, my enjoyment of it because, and surprisingly, I thought I was going to hate it a lot more. But um, <laughs> I only hated um, it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's not again. It's not bad. It's just yeah. something I wouldn't. I feel. Myself. I feel like it's not that's all very fair. I feel like mm-hmm. I, everything that we've said is very fair, and like I feel, especially because we talked about the Sakura, mm-hmm. and we'll talk about it. Again, definitely in the future, but the legacy is something that really Mm -hmm. needs to be sort like I don't want to discount like time it was released and the legacy of it, right? But you cannot solely base your ratings and like your view of this on because that's just not how it works. And and to help clarify, at least with me, like you know how much I love One Piece, right? I'm not going around saying the the anime is amazing. It's garbage. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's hot garbage, especially now, uh, except for Wano. Uh, Wano, good. But just because you know One Piece is 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 pretty huge doesn't mean that you know everything about it. Yeah. is great. anime is, is just like a it's it, ugh, the manga ugh. though. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could say the same thing for others. Like again, Naruto. Oh man, Naruto. I don't like Shippuden. I love, I love absolutely love OG Naruto. Yeah. Even and though again, it's, it's not it's great, all... even though legitimately I, it's okay. I, I love Naruto. No, OG. I love it too. No, 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 it's, no, no, no. It's no. phenomenal. Believe me, I love it. Mm-hmm. It's there's just especially going back and mm-hmm. looking at it in an objective light. Still, right. so much fun. But my God, are there some issues there? <laughs> again, yeah, and we can't let big like just because it's a big name or or the the name to know. It yeah. shouldn't be like that's why it's good because it's big. Like yeah. no, I'll I'll poop on One Piece any day, mm-hmm. dude. I'll everyone poop on, on Star Wars. Day. 
Oh. And Star Wars, don't get me started. <laughs> oh, I don't get me started. Oh, Pino, don't get me I'm started. Sorry, Mandalorian's I, uh, great. Mandalorian's dude, really dude. good. Watch the Mandalorian. It's real good. Wait, are we going to talk about? Can we? Oh, we got. We, we, just, we got some filler. We so. do have. We do have a couple of filler um, ideas. It's too bad it won't around. be over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely for one, we'll have our season in review because. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like doing that at the end of the season, just That's to recap yeah. and talk about stuff that yeah. we remember. Like, did we watch Akira this? season? We did. We also watched Whoa, Castlevania okay. this that. season. Do you remember yeah, that? My God. That's crazy, oh right? To God. think about, and that that should be getting a new season pretty soon. So oh, perhaps. Yeah. Um, right. And there's a couple other things I do have in the works. Uh, a little personality quiz that we'll all be taking in the future. Oh, so boy, keep, I can't so wait keep to your ears to the ground on that because it will be can't released. Can't wait to be to the, the catch-up of the group again. Oh, no. <laughs> but, yes, uh, so there will be filler coming out every other week like normal. Um, it'll probably run until the middle of... February? Uh, no, the middle January? of uh, January. Okay. Because, uh, you know, holidays and we have stuff it's to get It's the to. holiday season. The holiday season. Oh, whoop de doop de whoop We got to prepare like new assets and shit. Yeah. We, Feliz Navidad. But yes, so uh, we, we're going on a... Upgrading our equipment we, too, so... We're going on a quote-unquote break. And when we say break, yeah. we're still making content. We're just not watching anime every week. Basically, for all you weebs out there, and I know you, I know you know what I mean. You ever get that? You ever get that that anime that has two seasons, and then instead of continuing the story as other seasons, they just continue on as OVAs. Yeah, you know, that's that's just, just that. right now. We're <laughs> we're right we're, now. we're gonna release a recap movie, and then we're gonna do a couple of <laughs> non canon really OVAs. Are, we really are doing a recap. <laughs> we, we gotta get the narrator from Dragon Ball. Last time, last season on Drag <laughs> on FAP, God. dude, that would legit be great. <laughs> yeah. Be great, I love that. But yeah, um, so uh, hope you enjoy that, guys. Of course, so this is gonna be it's fun for us, and is that hopefully it's fun for you guys too. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you, you want to? Might hmm? might be doing some fun stuff. Yeah, you know? we'll yeah. be doing some fun yeah. stuff in the future. So yeah. keep your eyes on the floor, and we w- there will be a couple of Patreon eyes exclusives. On the floor. Yeah, ears on the floor. Hear me stepping around. Oh, you said eyes on the... Okay, I get it, because I listen with my yes, eyes. Yes, you fool. <laughs> um, but there will be a couple of Patreon uh, exclusive things that... One thing that Pino and I have already actually recorded, so... Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? We did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh. One day we'll get that edited and put up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One day. But, yes. So, uh, Garb, do you want to outro us? God, are we dude. dead now? Yeah. yeah, we're all dead. Uh, we're in the cave. Um, we've deceased. There's never but going to be a season though. three. Yeah, we're, uh, we're we, we we japed you guys. I can't believe this is actually the final episode of the podcast. <laughs> we killed them all off. See you <laughs> Thank later, God. space well, dandy cowboy. <laughs> See you later. Fat we'll rise cowboys. like a phoenix. We will not rise. We will rise like a like a fucking chicken wing. They played us like a damn fiddle. <laughs> But or maybe yeah. like a goose. Goose. Ta-da. Maybe Charlie will make a, a resurrection in season three. We don't know. <laughs> we'll learn some necromancy. Yeah. Oh, now no. Do it in the off time when we're not watching anime. <laughs> learn necromancy. <laughs> you got us. Follow oh. this. But yes. Right next to not being eaten. Uh, thanks. Email us. Yeah, email us uh, <laughs> if you want to help support the Chat show. Us up. Subscribe to Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. You know, all the things. The, the outro, the outro yeah. bit has basically everything minus the Patreon. I'm going to have to re-record that. Um, <laughs> but hey, we might even have new formats for stuff that we do. I don't uh, know. We don't I'm know. Just... Don't make promises. <laughs> I mean, we got to make a new format when we return to shows. Like, we can't just like... Oh, yeah, well, yeah. No, 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 no. This is going to be like... <laughs> we should just we should just have the same naming convention, but just add parentheses and then the year after. Because <laughs> I hate whenever shows do that, and I'm, and we need to be part of the problem. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's Hunter X thing. Hunter 1999. Oh my god, yeah. oh. 2011. Even yeah. though Hunter X Hunter's so good, I hate dude. That. There's like convention. three different versions of like animated iterations Berserk? of Berserk. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my god, that's that's so confusing. But uh, yeah. Before we keep rambling on and trying to get this episode <laughs> longer than the actual movie that we watched, uh, <laughs> uh, we have been the Fucky Anime Podcast. My name is Chuck. 
I'm Pino. I'm Garb. Thank you for listening to the finale of season two, and we'll see you Woo-hoo! in a couple weeks for the uh, we did it, guys. filler. Thank you all Woo-hoo! for listening, and it really means a lot to us. So we'll see you very soon. And don't and, forget to tell them your mom. Yeah, got to tell your mom they you love, love her. her, especially before any air raids. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That oof. <laughs> Man, what a great mm. note to <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> the Funky Anime Podcast is a program made by Upchucked, Garbalax, and Pinoplane. You can find Chuck at Upchucked Gaming on Twitter and Upchucked on YouTube. You can find Garb at Garbalax on Twitter or Garbalax on Twitch. You can find Pino at Pinoplan2 on Twitter and Pinatoplan2 on Twitch. Music made by Garblax, editing by Chuck, audio mastering by Garblax, moral support by Pino. You can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash 3 And Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, 3 Weebros, so you can find our latest content. Thank you. <laughs>